Hey, what's going on everybody? It's DJ. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 22. Today we've got 19 total new and updated mods to take a look at for all platforms. We've got 15 new and for PC and Mac we got two new and two updates. I make mod review videos every time mods are released on the official in-game mod hub, so get subscribed if you're new. That way you never miss them. Starting off today with new mods for all platforms, the first one is a game changer. This is Liftable Pallets. They say all production and animal pallets now have a fixed weight of 100 kilograms, which is the perfect way to be able to pick things up by hand. You can see from these screenshots, we've got literally every production, including eggs, including honey, including wool. Absolutely. Even got flour on there. My favorite. This is epic. This is absolutely epic. I'm showing you guys screenshots because, well, there, there you go. It's so much more fun to just show these off anyway. Heads up, if you guys are playing on a game save already and you've got some productions on there, none of those are going to be lightweight. You're not going to be able to pick any of those up. What is going to happen is anything new that is produced. So let's say you've got two pallets of strawberries down and you need to pick up you know, these strawberries and they won't pick up. Well, fast forward time a little bit. The third one that comes up is the next one. That makes sense. That one you'll be able to pick up. So after you've installed this, any new pallets that are made by productions on your farms will be able to be picked up. This is epic. Next up, you probably saw me driving this one around at the beginning of the video. This is the John Deere 110 4x4 from Slushes Modding. We get six pieces with this total. You got the tractor itself. You've got a mini plow in the garden. This is a subsoiler. They do say it could be used instead of a plow, but it's it's a subsoiler. You got a utility trailer, holds two and a half thousand liters. We got a mower as well. Yeah, it's a one meter mower, but who cares? It's a mower. Then we got this piece. Uh, it says levelers are used to move chaff and stuff around. So uh, it says it's a rake, but yeah, it's a leveler. And so is this, but you would expect this to be that because it is a snow blade. So let's take a look at the tractor itself. This is going to be 41 horsepower, automatic transmission, 20 liters wheel, 12 miles per hour, max speed, not too bad. Weighs two and a half tons and is gonna be six slots on consoles. Design, no hood or hood. That does not look great, uh, but <laughs> nonetheless, it is what it is. I would go definitely without design. We've got lights or no lights on the front, whatever you want. They look very interesting nonetheless. I love this mod. Some of the customization a little off. Uh, we do have a chrome exhaust or regular exhaust, however you want to do that up. Three point or not on the back. You know, I think things look weird just because the tractor is so small. We had this Safari Big Simulator 19. It's a cool thing. I think just some of the customization looks a little bit weird. That's all. Uh, wheel setups. You've got wheel weights. you got some standard wheels. And you got duels on here even as well. Trying to see what the wheel brand itself is, but lo these look debranded. So it uh, looks like debrand got a hold of these. Main color, this is not the main color. This is just your grill color in the front and then rim color, of course. Well, that is rim color. As far as everything else, it doesn't look like we've got any customization. Ooh, we do have customization for the mower. And this actually does change up the entire thing. So that is nice to see. Uh, looks like we've got some rim or no. Main color options here, so that's kind of nice. And then for the snow plow on the very front, you could change that up as well. So not too bad. Next up for all platforms, we've got the Robert GMC, and this is quite literally the exact same manure bucket, just five different ones of them, and they're a little bit bigger. Uh, 905, 950, one ton, 1 1.5, and 1.2. Uh, I feel like we could have gotten away with maybe one, maybe two of these, but if you need something extremely specific, like, uh, well, sorry, 850, 950, 1050, 1150, or 1250. Yeah. Probably just go with this one. I think it'll be fine. Uh, these do have different attachers. You got Manitou, Telehandler. What's the difference? Well, I'll show you. You've also got front loader on here as well. Stole front loader. So that's nice to see. JCB, skid steer, wheel loader, and then back down. Now, Manitou. What is that for? Uh, I believe this is for the front loader thing, but well, this didn't work. Uh, I can't get this to attach. This is on Xbox. I figured I'd just load that up, to see if it works. So uh, there are gonna be some differences between your setups here. Just make sure you choose the right one. There's a lot of different ones. It would have been nice for these to be a little bit tighter and 
make a little bit more sense right off the bat. But jump in. Let's pivot to something that does make sense. From Polycap Mining, the FarmTech Duras 2000. Yes, sir. So you got a 2000 or 20,000 liter capacity. I also have 28 Michelin tires, BKT on here as well. Ridestein, Lizard tires, if you want to go with that, those are cool too. How about a crawler track? Yes, you can. It's only seven slots for this entire thing, which is very nice. You can throw a cover on there and a license plate. Super easy, makes sense. Check it out. The Farm Tech Duras 2000 from Bali Cow Mining. I love this thing. If the corn and sunflower headers that you've got base game in your game are not good enough, they don't fold up tight enough, well, maybe this one will. The Olimac Drago GT. This is pretty sweet, actually. Nine meter spread, seven miles per hour. So it's a fair width, but it is one mile per hour faster, which is very nice. Uh, 380 horsepower is required. Now all your, all your combines are going to give you that anyway. At 5.1 tons configuration, you've got a special configuration or standard, and it's going to be a total of 12 slots. So it is real heavy on slot counts. Again, corn and sunflowers both. That's about it. But check it out. It's pretty sweet. I can hear it now. DJ, why don't we have any really, really super small plows? Boop. Now we do from <laughs> from uh, Farm Edgery. We have the PLN Plows Pack. This comes with three different ones. You've got a 1.1, 1.4, and 1.7 meter working with on these uh, designs. You could do the um, colders on or off, and then of course you do have a main color as well, which for some reason my controller won't select. So mouse is is. Okay, quite a few different colors on here. Kind of choose what you like. Ooh, a little petrol blue. Okay, I like the color. I like the color. It's looking good. Uh, these are going to be two slots for the small one and three slots for the medium and large one. These next header trailers that we've got, I completely kept looking past them. It took me a hot minute to find them because the base game ones from Farming Simulator 19. <laughs> these should look very familiar to you guys. I think we had these in 17 as well, if I'm not mistaken. We've got two of them. We do have the smaller version and the larger version as well. They're going to be three slots each, so nothing crazy there. And we can customize them. So main colors, well, all of the above, as a matter of fact. Let's go with cloth green there and the rim color. Of course, uh, we'll have to go with the fent because for some reason we don't have cloth red. And that's about it. We do have uh, beacons on the back, so that is nice to have. Let's we'll see. Can we do an all blacked out version? But that'll look cool. Ooh, that does look cool. There you go. The La Juan Cutter Coutrela Pack. This next one's a fun one. Um. Uh. <laughs> okay, here we go. The the DPW 1800. I'm sorry, I'm losing it a little bit. Uh, this is a mod. It's literally exactly the same as the version that we've got in game. No other extra customization. Now the uh, the, the the maker of this killer modding says that they've rebuilt the farm tech bell wagon, where they've animated the rear to take more bells. This could be extended by the X button. So it is kind of neat. It will extend the very very back. If you guys know, you kind of see in there a little bit where it'll extend out. Uh, so it will extend, but just a heads up. That everything else is literally the same as the base game one. Is it worth it? Hmm. Check it out and find out. From Aguar Design Austria, we have their Bauer V30. This is going to be a slurry and digest aid trailer. Holds both of those, and I don't think it'll spread it. Well, no, hang on, it will. Check that out. Seven meters spread at nine miles per hour. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, you can throw some decoration hoses on there if you would really like to. The thing is, I'm still having trouble figuring out where it spread oh it's got a uh, hose here on the side i see it now so it holds 3100 liters 1.9 tons at 35 horsepower required seven meter nine miles per hour it's got the 404s baby let's go as far as main colors go these look like hose colors and that's exactly what they are as well yep there you go so check it out this is definitely like a smaller maybe closer role play style of thing but i'll say Man, it does look good. Something that looks picked up and dropped down, uh, picked up from Farming Simulator 19 and dropped in Farming Simulator 22. This is the fuel tank trailer. Uh, this rad boy right here, 1500 liters of fuel, 1.1 tons, and that's it. Your rims are actually rims from Farming Simulator 2017, 19, somewhere around there, either way. Uh, rim colors, if we can get down to select them. Uh, you've got pretty much every color, plus a couple uh, uh, custom ones as well. Um, 
I know what color that is. Uh, and then of course you've got stuff for your design color as well. So you do have options for choosing different colors. Um, no rim color, that's kind of odd. Anyway, there you go, uh, fuel tank trailer. If you are in need of some new silos, well, we got you covered from MACA. This is the Silos VTC plus extension. So you've got the uh, VTC silos themselves and it looks like possibly some extensions as well. Uh, it's showing that there's like eight, uh, eight things. Yeah, four silos, four things. So let's take a look. Uh, this is only one version, by the way. So heads up there. It's silos. Of course, we've got all four here. You've got the same house design at the front. And then with each version, you just add another silo. And uh, they're, they're pretty sped up. Well, uh, 110,000, 220, 330, and 440,000. So they are scaled properly, which is very nice. See, as far as extensions go, this is kind of nice because we have the exact extensions with the same uh, same set, just without the house on there. So you could actually use these to create your own silo uh, facility, which is really cool, man. I really like that. From Dogface, we have their root crop storage. This building is for storing of potatoes and beets, fully functional like a silo and hayloft, but for root crops. The building and conveyor belts are authentic to how root crops are actually stored. And fun enough, um, look exactly like a mod that we had in Farming Simulator 15 and 17 and 19, which is very interesting. Uh, price is gonna be $100,000 for this and it holds 800,000 liters of all your goodies. This can be found in silos and if you go all right here, well, there you go. There is your storage. So you're gonna drop everything right here and you pick them all up with your trailer right here. Literally, if you've used this in previous games, it works exactly the same way. Your next new mod for all platforms, we've got a factory and this is unlike anything I've ever seen before. This takes straw and turns it into manure. I don't know how that works. <laughs> I can't think how that would work in real life. I mean. You take straw and you put it down near cattle and it becomes manure. Now we've had things like that happen in the game and it happens right over there, but not like this. Take a look at this. So we've got 1000 liters of straw that goes into 3000 liters of manure. So this is kind of interesting because manure is actually more cost effective, I guess, than straw is. So if you get a bunch of straw, throw it in, you get three times more manure than you do for the same amount of straw. So now you've utilized straw where you wouldn't have, you've now got manure and you can fertilize your crops or you could sell it at the BGA. This almost seems like a no brainer. Now I will tell you, um, production costs per month, or if you're using one day season or one day, yeah, one day months or seasons like I am, well, it's gonna cost you 120 bucks a month. And then you've got 480 of those every month. So you've got one set, it, man, 480 cycles in a month. That were, that's a lot is what that is. Uh, was that 10 in an hour, Tw 20 in an hour? Oof, that's a lot. This is this is gonna be definitely worth it. You gotta check this out, man. Your next to last new one for all platforms today is the Outdoor Pastures. This is from Camillos0397. We got two of these, one the Sheep Pasture, that's the one shown right here in red, and right here shown with just kind of normal size. This is going to be your cattle pasture. So. Cattle pasture holds 40 cows and your sheep pasture holds 45 sheep. Not a lot. He's not holding a lot at all. It's very, very rare that we're getting massive animal pens in Farming Simulator uh, 22. Otherwise, it kind of looks like they've got a uh, water system. It appears both of them do, so that's kind of cool. It kind of looks like the animal pen extension stuff from Farming Simulator 19, but I know it's not. But it's kind of cool. It's it's nice to be like, oh, they don't need water, but we will put a visual water in there for you. I like that. I think that's neat. All right, and your last mod today, this actually came out, I think like a week or two ago, but unfortunately it didn't work on consoles for some reason. At least I couldn't get it to work. And then all of a sudden, poof, it was gone. Well, it is now back, the Lizard S100. We talked about this in Farm Some News, we'll talk about it briefly here. It is a simple blade that can be used for as a weight, a decoration, or just to move materials around. You can paint this whatever color you want. We even have custom colors, check this out. We've got black, we've got a nice custom uh, red, and a custom green as well, with every other color under the rainbow being an option. This is from Dutch Modding Inc. or DMI. They do a really, really good job. Excited to see this. Since we have no mod updates for all platforms today, let's move into new mods for PC and Mac players today. And the first one is going to be the 
uh, Marinelli, I think I said that right, Marinelli, uh, CMIP 11 FP 300 from Pepe in 978. There you go. Oof, we should get this video over with. Uh, they say, note, when disconnecting the cultivator, wait a few seconds for the hydraulic system to drain, and then everything will be totally fine. So he's definitely made this to be a little bit more realistic than you guys are probably used to seeing. There is no customization at all on this, but it is nice to see. And it's uh, it's not three meters either, so that's nice. It's 2.8, so it's not a three meter cultivator. There you go. Uh, I don't know, weighs about a ton, requires 130 horsepower, goes nine miles an hour beautiful i love this green it's from prepping 978 go get it. and your second and only other new mod for pc and mac players today also looks pretty good this is the ritter fg 45 now my guess would be that this is not a licensed brand of farming simulator anymore because this would have been fine in farming simulator 19. nonetheless this is for being modding and and lexic they say that this would grapple from f G45 from the company Ritter can be mounted on any front loader. Logs of wood can be then handled easily and loaded into trailers by using your front loader, which a lot of people are accustomed to using that type of uh, control system versus maybe a logging crane. Hey, I'm right there with you. Don't worry. So if you need this, if you're looking for something exactly like this, if this fits your needs perfectly, Click it, check it out. All right, we do have a couple mod updates for PC and Mac players to end out the video today. Let's start with the map Hobo's Hollow 4X from Hagas. It's gonna be version 1.1. Improve the traffic system, change the sorghum growth schedule to a summer crop to match in real life. Also reduce land prices and minor economy tweaks. And lastly, today we've got an update to the reduced engine braking force. Uh, this is from Daniel Modding version oh, uh, oh, 1.001, I'm an idiot, looked at size. Uh, however, one thing that I don't, uh, well, it says version 1.2.0.2, but it's version 1.001, and I think it's in French. I, I got nothing for you, but there it is. Uh, update. Yeah. All right. That is going to be it for today's new mod video. Hope you enjoyed it and hope you were able to find some mods that are going to work really well for you guys. Definitely check out liftable pallets. PC players don't have to worry about this as, as much, but guys on console, you really, really need to have this mod. I normally only keep about three or four mods installed all the time. And that liftable pallet mods is going in my installed forever folder. So there you go. Uh, anyway, I hope you have a great, awesome rest of your day. New mods are only going to be happening for the next few days. I'm going on vacation starting on Friday. I will have mod video on Friday, but I'm taking off and I won't be back until Thursday next week. So heads up there. I'll be said, Hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.